Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG back with a brand new video. And today we're going to be talking about the latest update for Race Room and the new DLC for the DTM 2023 car pack. So uh, yeah, let's get stuck into the video. So I recently had the pleasure of trying the new DLC cars. Um, I also actually did a little ranked race as well. I didn't mean to, but I ended up in a little ranked race. There was only about four people on track, but I decided to do as many laps as <laughs> I could possibly fathom. And um, yeah, I did a few. I did a few hot lap tracks around Aston. I did some hot laps around Interlagos as well. Generally, just trying to get a feel of where the game, the biggest differences were, because there was a brand new tire model and stuff like that. Um, and personally, for me, I could I could certainly feel the difference in in terms of the load of the car. I could feel the weight sort of distribution and. You know, like when you when you go for a right hander and you and you lean heavily on the left hand side of the car, you could sort of feel that um, within the new tire model. And and I'm pretty sure I didn't used to feel that when I played race room. I did play race room about a month previously. I was having a little go around Macau, so I have sort of recent experience of how the game actually felt. And for me, definitely there is a difference. You can I can explain it. You can sort of feel the the edge of the tire. Right, you can feel the edge of the tire. You can feel when you're about to lose grip. The only thing I would say where race room is still lacking is once you go over that threshold of the edge of grip, the force feedback sort of disappears. So once you start getting too sideways or you create too much of a slip angle and the car starts to really slide, the whole feeling of being able to feel the rear of the car just completely disappears for me personally. And that to me was the, the weakness that still remains because I've always felt on race room although I quite like a lot of the force feedback um the, the rear of the car seems to have this thing where once it loses grip generally don't even know it's happening you know there's no sort of counter steering from the wheel there's no force feedback sort of working against you so you end up counter steering to control it it just sort of goes numb and you kind of have to do it by eye so for a lot of people that don't play this game on a regular basis, you know, when, once you lose the back end, you're probably going to end up binning it because you're not going to realize you're in a moment until it actually just spins you out. Whereas certain other games, like for instance, ACC, which I play a lot of, once the back end comes, it snaps. And even if you overcorrect it and it throws you the other way, you still know that it's happening. With, with Race Room, you kind of still don't know that it's there. But that being said, for me, it did feel a little bit more immersive. I could feel like I was absolutely hammering it, going through certain corners and just feeling that, that the weight distribution and the edge of the tire, you could feel like, okay, right now, I probably can't take this corner any quicker. You know, and um, that to me was, was a big difference because it always had decent force feedback, like the wheel, the wheel weight and stuff like that always felt okay to me, but it wasn't really any, you know, particular detail in the way how that was being transferred through the wheel. Now, I'm only on a T300, so I, I don't know what it feels like on a DD wheel or anything like that. But from my experience, it definitely was an upgrade. As I said before, as I've said uh, a thousand times, there's lots of stuff on Race Room that is to like. For me, particularly in terms of um, the force feedback, that, that upshift... Um, force feedback you get that little jolt that you get for the wheel every time you shift up love that i think that should be on every every racing game absolutely love that feature that race room has and no other game that i've played has that to me it makes it feel so much more realistic when you, whenever you change gear and you feel just feel the car jolt a little bit like you would it in real life love love that feature um in terms of the cars i tried the 296 also jumped in the audi um and what I would say that probably still needs a little bit more work is the cars having their own distinctive personality. For me, when I jumped in between the Audi and the 296, it didn't feel like a massive difference. Like I couldn't, you know, I couldn't put my finger on, okay, this felt way different from this car to that car. It wasn't really a big difference. Maybe, I would say maybe the, the rear end of the Audi comes around a little bit more so a little bit more twitchy other than that just it felt pretty pretty similar i mean the the good thing the good thing with that is that um you can pretty much jump in any car and drive it and it's not going to be a problem you know it's not particularly hard to drive 
any of the cars in terms of the, the DTM cars or all the GT3s to be honest but you know unlike ACC which puts a lot of emphasis into each car the, the personality differences between each car and ACC is, is very very big like you know you're in a completely different car you know and, and it feels that way even the way how you drive certain lines you would take you might take certain different lines because you can't get away with it in some cars you know whereas in in race room it kind of just feels like you're just gonna drive everything pretty much the same now i, I still haven't tried the porsche yet i i need to try the porsche and i definitely will report back um to you guys and tell you how that feels because obviously that's a completely different car compared to the other cars we have um in the past of course i've tried like the amgs the, the bentleys i've driven i've driven so many cars on this game and as i said before the personality difference is probably not big enough between the cars which is i mean some people can say it's a downfall but it does make the car it does make the game very accessible and very easy to pick up and play um but you know that's 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 just what it is in terms of the the, the dtm cars the um the dlc I mean, it's, for, for me personally, it's a mixed feeling. I think the DTM cars are quicker than the GT3s, even though they're the same, technically the same cars. But I'm pretty sure they're a little bit more aero efficient because when I tried it around um, Asen, I'm pretty sure that I was about a second quicker in the in the DTM version of the uh, of the of the Audi. So the thing with that is. It's, it's like it's new DLC, but it's kind of the same cars that you already have. So it's exciting if you, you're desperate to drive a 296. Obviously for me, I've been in a 296 on ATC for, for ages. So it's not, not new to me, but for the community that plays Race Room, I guess that it is something new. But, um, you know, it's just... <laughs> the cut is realistically it's the same car you know um so it's, it's not it's not that big of a of a deal for me per se but for i can get why other people might enjoy driving it and stuff like that but of course with the dtms going to gt3 cars it's like how many gt3 cars are <laughs> are we gonna have you know it's just it's just loads and loads but at the end of the day it's all extra content you can't really complain um aside from that i think the update was it was pretty good man i think definitely there is a way to go i would love i would love lfm to absolutely pick up race room and do something with it because it's got it's got a lot of potential it's got a lot of great tracks on this game man like lots of great tracks on this game of course obviously they're not free so you're gonna have to pay for them but they're they're cheap man it's not like i racing where you're paying 14 quid you know but for the most part, I don't think most of the tracks, I don't think you're ha gonna have to pay any more than like 450 or whatever, you know? Most of the tracks are cheaper than that even. So I feel like it's a game that if it got a little bit of love and support, it could do all right, man. I personally, I've played Ren Sport. I prefer Race Room to Ren Sport. I prefer Race Room to P Cars. I know P Cars had a lot of, you know, like weather and stuff like that, which is cool. That All that stuff is nice, but how the game actually feels how the force feedback feels i prefer race room to those games um i don't think it's ahead of acc of course but acc is like a very new title in comparison to to um race room to me it's on you know it's close with with the original set of course man you know and I, I even slightly prefer the force feedback on race room compared to the original set so you know they're both games that have a lot of a lot of content with it and stuff like that obviously you can mod on a set of course which i don't think you can do on race room but race room has enough tracks where you can put together a, a nice championship in in loads of different cars if, if you needed to but what i will say hopefully for the future of race room hopefully someone like race room race room hopefully someone like lfm does come in and try and do something on this game because i i definitely would be down i would do a championship on this game i like the way the cars feel and i guess you know that feeling that you get from the rear of the car where 
you don't get a lot of force feedback that that was probably something you'd have to get used to by playing the game on a regular basis man so we shall see you guys anyway man leave your comments in the comment section below tell me what you think about the brand new update cryptic tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace